foam roll in the scabs. Essentially, this is means we're going to foam roll right on that shoulder blade, that triangle on the back, on your upper back. So the way we're going to set up for this, and I'll show this from a couple different angles, we're coming onto our back side, and we're going to start with that foam roller just below those shoulder blades. We don't really want to roll the lower part of the spine, so we don't want to be down here anywhere. It's from the upper half of the back. We're going to take our hands, and we can either bring them behind the head to help support the neck, but ideally, if you're able to, we're actually going to bring them across the chest, because that'll help those shoulder blades lay flat, versus here where they might actually wing back and it could be feel a little painful to roll over them. All right, that's gonna be different person to person. But ideally, we're bringing the hands across the chest, head is tucked, and we're rolling the upper back, but we're actually gonna lean to one side. So I'll lean to my right side, so that you can see me doing that, and we're rolling up and down, and then we'd actually lean to the left side. So that way we're right on the shoulder blade rather than on the middle of the upper back. So if you were to kind of get a head on low, we're here, and I'm going to cross my arms, tuck my chin, and lean to one side. And then once I finish my time on that side, I'll lean to the other side. So that is foam roll on the scaps.